Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So we are going to be doing chemistry today and today we'll continue our study on electrochemical cells. So this is chemistry. Okay, and today we are going to be looking at another electrochemical cell called the Leclanche cell. Okay, so as usual, I will show you why it's important we study this. So I'm going to go to the O3 schools jump app that has all the past questions of jump. Okay, like I say, it is all you need for your exam success. Okay, so this is a 2006 question from the O3 schools jump app, 2006, number 44. Okay, and here it says they said that zinc and carbon rods are used as anode and cathode respectively in a a we say the clamp cell b lead acid accumulator c daniel cell cannot be a daniel cell again because for daniel cell we use was zinc and what and copper okay so obviously daniel cell is up because we have done daniel cell in the previous episode all right so then d voltaic rod cell okay so uh we are going to come back to this but even after we have done this Leclan cell, you already know the answer to it. So it's a Leclan cell, obviously. So this app is all you need to succeed in your exam. Okay, please go to Play Store right now, download it. Okay, it has all the past questions you need. It has wonderful feature. It has the classroom feature that has lecture notes where you can study. Then after study, you answer question on that our topic. Wonderful feature. We have the question search feature. You can search for question the way I just searched right here and search for question under any topic. Okay, using the question search feature, and you see all the question that Jamba set. So under that topic, so you answer those questions, you build your confidence. Then it has a UTM challenge, it's a challenge that has been conducted for all students participating in Jam this year. So you compete with your with your mates, you win what amazing prizes, and then not only winning those prizes. The price is not the major thing. The major thing is that you are getting used to how Jam set that question. You will be seeing your results released weekly. Okay, you are you partake in several mocks on the app already, even before the main Jam mock and the main Jam exam. Okay, wonderful feature. And of course, as you are answering questions, you are building your confidence towards the main exam. Your results will be released just like Jam every week. So you are you are not too scared again when they say Jam want to do this result because you know that what you know of onions. You already what practice you have studied and you are not scared of anything so please download the app from play store immediately and activate it activation is just three thousand era as at the time of shooting this video it will definitely increase so that is the job for passing your exam, your exam at once so please download the app get any resource any useful resources that will make you pass your exam get it do not be stingy okay get it pass your exam at once forget you will the exam all right so please three thousand era to activate, click on activate on the app. Go to at the top, you see where they wrote buy activation key. So click on it. I've seen three options for payment. You can use your ATM card to pay online. Your app will be automatically activated. Two, you can make transfer to the O3 Schools app account. After making transfer, just send the receipts to this number on WhatsApp 091215152468. Okay, just send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp. And after you have sent what the receipt, Okay, you will be what activated for you manually. Okay, the customer care will attend to you and activate for you manually. Just be patient, it is not scam. Okay, you will definitely get your activation. We are here to help you succeed, not to scam you. So, it is not, do, do not be scared of anything like scam there. All right, so now today I'm going to be looking at the uh, the, the clanch what cell in the clanch cell. All right, because of time, let us run in the clanch cell, and of course, the clanch cell was what. Founded by or invented by a man called George Leclanche. George Leclanche. Okay. The Leclanche the, the, the cell was invented by a man or designed by a man called George Leclanche in the year 1866. So he was the one that, that designed what? This cell. Okay. So the Leclanche cell con contains what? A glass vessel. You have what a glass vessel, and in that glass vessel, there's what they say what they say zinc what it's a zinc container containing ammonium chloride. Zinc container containing what ammonium chloride. Okay, so they say what in that what glass vessel we have what a zinc container that contains what ammonium what chloride. Also, we also have what immersed in it is also what a porous pot. 
there's a porous spot. There's a porous spot, and in that porous spot, we have what carbon deposit and manganese four oxide. Manganese four oxide. So we have what in this porous spot, we have what our uh, carbon rod, carbon rod, and what manganese, manganese dioxide, or the one we call manganese four oxide. Okay, so this is what the the clan cell contains okay zinc container containing ammonium chloride they will now have a porous spot and in that porous spot is a carbon rod okay and it is deep in what in manganese in manganese what dioxide or manganese four oxide okay now the zinc rod okay the zinc rod is made what the anode zinc rod is made the anode in, in the clan cell while what the carbon rod in this case is made the what the cathode please take note of that you see very well very importantly why we are discussing this okay so the zinc container is made the anode and then the carbon rod is made with the cathode okay so now the other things you know about what the uh, the clan says that it is the commonness it's the commonness of what of what of all the what of the cells of all the cells it can be is found in our in our home in our home appliances like radio like touches okay that's where what you use what the declines and other simple home what appliances okay so please take note it's using what in radios radios using torches in torches okay and other what home appliances okay now a decline cell can be described as dry or wet as dry or wet okay so we can have what we call what a dry decline cell and we can have what we call what a wet the clench what cell okay so it can be called dry or wet depending on where on whether it contains ammonium chloride solution ammonium chloride solution or paste or the ammonium chloride what paste okay so it can be described as dry or wet depending on whether it contains ammonium chloride solution solution or it contains what paste ammonium chloride what paste so these are what the two conditions so if it contains what the solution you already know this is a wet decline cell if it contains what the paste you should already know that it's a what is a dry decline what cell okay so the the decline cell has what zinc the zinc rod as what as the anode and the what the carbon rod as what as the cathode okay let's just quickly see a simple diagram of a decline cell so that we can what use the word to drive the point home then we answer questions on this and we are done please if you have not liked this video what you are doing is very wrong please just click on that like button immediately so that other students can find this video also if you have not subscribed to this channel what you are doing is even wronger this is very very wrong it's very wrong okay click on that red subscribe button so subscribe is free so just click on that red subscribe button so that once we publish a new video you will get a notification on your phone that O3 school has published a new video then you can join us quickly so let me see a simple diagram illustrating the decline cell and we are done with this class for those of you who are already bored <laughs> i know you cannot be bored in my class okay so so this uh, is a simple decline cell okay so this is the glass vessel the glass vessel okay when we say in that glass vessel we say well this is zinc rod okay so how what is zinc rod zinc rod like this this is zinc rod all right so this is a zinc rod then in that zinc rod we also have i uh, uh, sorry in that zinc rod we have what a solution of what we have what a solution containing what ammonium chloride nh4cl solution okay then we also have what a porous pot okay okay so we have what a carbon rod in that porous pot I also have magnesium four oxide so we now have what another rod there okay another rod this rod is this rod is what is a carbon rod okay and of course it's a there's a porous spot this a pot this is a porous spot let me just put it this way it's a porous spot okay porous spot is this way like this let me clean this Okay, this is a porous spot. Here is ammonium chloride solution uh, in the what? In the glass vessel. 
okay ammonium chloride solution all right so this one here is the porous pot it is porous pot the porous pot contains carbon and magnesium four oxide deposits okay so let me just put it this way the porous pot porous pot contain porous pot contains what carbon and magnesium four oxide deposits okay so it's as simple as abc then of course this is negative this is what positive okay so let me just show that what it has what okay this one is just a complete diagram okay so this is a simple what illustration of the leclant cell okay contains what uh zinc rod having what ammonium chloride solutions you can see ammonium chloride solution in it and then of course we have what a porous pot that has what a carbon rod and magnesium four oxide inside okay so inside this space now i have a carbon i have a carbon rod and i have magnesium four oxide inside what this porous pot here okay then of course we now have what uh uh the glass vessel this is the glass vessel and then of course you know the ammonium chloride solution that is all about what the leclant cell and i said the leclant cell is what is the commonness of all the cells apart from that it can be found in torches can be found in radios and other what home appliances so let's go to the hotel school's past question and see they said 2006 number 44 that we looked at before says zinc and carbon rods are used as anode and cathode respectively in a leclant cell in a leclant cell so we're not going to what go uh over that again zinc and carbon rods but they are found what in the clan cell now let's see 2018 number 14 2018 number 14 says so they say the ammonium compound the ammonium compound used in the manufacture of dry cells okay you know the decline cell can be what can be dry or wet like i said and i said depending on whether it contains what ammonium chloride solution or ammonium chloride paste okay so now we are asked they say the ammonium compound used in manufacture of dry cells is a uh, ammonium nitrate okay i give me ammonium tetras of a six ammonium chloride okay i give me what ammonium what carbonate okay so our uh, obvious answer there will, will be ammonium chloride option what option c okay so there are so many other questions on the leclan cell in the application so download the application please and what start practicing today you have a lot to gain from it do not let 3000 be the reason why you are failing your exam okay please get the app and of course i'll see you at the top and in the next episode i'm going to see you. my name is master t your favorite chemistry teacher see you